Just 20 years ago, Dubai was a sweltering desert. But in the past 20 years, Dubai has revolutionized itself into the 20th century and become the number one luxury tourist destination in the entire world. To forming their own man-made islands, to constructing the tallest building in the world, Dubai has it all. But with great success comes an array of downfalls. 20 years after Dubai's Palm Island was constructed, it's beginning to sink back into the ocean. With a whopping $12 billion thrown into the project, this is a serious problem for Dubai and could prove catastrophic for everyone involved in creating these man-made islands. Way back in 2001, Dubai set out to construct one of the world's largest artificial islands, the Palm Jumeirah, constructed using only natural earth materials. It was completed in just six years. Then, in 2002, Dubai began building a new island, the Palm Jebel Ali, which would be 50% bigger than the Palm Jumeirah. But unfortunately, this project never actually got anywhere, which is quite surprising for a country like Dubai, who is known for completing massive projects. But as you will see, this is not the only artificial island that sits abandoned off the coast of Dubai. Satellite images from 2015 show that the Palm Jebel Ali is fully dredged with sand, but sits completely empty, throwing these plans out of the picture. The CEO of Nakheel Properties, who is in charge of building the artificial islands, blamed the financial crisis of 2008 for the islands not being completed. Dubai had also planned to build what they called the World Islands in 2003. These islands are also fully dredged with sand, but they sit abandoned, with only one of them being a showcase home for future property selling of the plots of land. Dubai had many other artificial islands planned after they began their massive artificial island project in 2001. While many of these projects are now considered to be long-term ones, Dubai is facing an even worse problem than they did in 2001 to build the islands. Planet Earth has significantly changed in the 20 years since many of these islands were constructed, and they are beginning to sink back into the ocean. Remember, these are artificial islands, and they are not technically even supposed to be there. Dubai disrupted weather patterns, underwater ecosystems, and the city's coastline to build these islands, and they are beginning to see the negative effects of constructing such massive islands in a place that they were not meant to be. This all began in 2010, when a marine company responsible for the logistics and transportation to the islands warned that they were beginning to sink back into the ocean. The large amounts of sand extracted from the ocean floor was beginning to return to its place of origin, and this was a huge problem. The island's developer, Nakheel Properties, denied all the accusations that their islands were sinking, but NASA satellite images proved that the islands were beginning to sink. With 70% of the islands already sold, construction was immediately brought to a stop, as Nikhil Properties tried to determine how to save the sinking islands. But in reality, there isn't much that they can do. Back in the early 2000s, it wasn't such a big deal to pour hundreds of millions of cubic meters of sand and rock directly onto the ocean floor, but in 2021, protecting the environment is significantly more important than it was 20 years ago. Rising sea levels are also contributing to the islands eroding back into the ocean. The islands were only built 13 feet above sea level, which makes them at a higher risk of being completely submerged in the future. They are also not sinking at the same rate. Dubai's most developed artificial island, the Palm Jumeirah, is sinking at a much slower rate than the rest of them, which brings along even more logistical problems. The reality is that these islands are sinking, and they will only begin to sink at faster rates as the conditions get worse in the coming years and decades. But the story doesn't end just there. To calm the rumors that were proven factual that the island is sinking, Dubai installed a wave breaker to avoid the rough waves from getting too close to residents on the island. In reality, this doesn't really do anything. But like other attempts to fix the sinking islands, Dubai won't be able to fight back against the forces of Earth's weather patterns and rising ocean levels this time. The World Islands, the Palm Jumeirah, and the Palm Jebel Ali were all incredible projects that brought along a new era of development and brought originality to Dubai's architecture and landscape. 20 years later, we can now understand that creating something that was not meant to be there will eventually fall apart without constant maintenance, and that's exactly what's happening to the man-made islands Dubai created. As of writing this video, the future of the three islands is very uncertain, and the argument that the islands are sinking will only become more of a problem. How much longer do you think the Dubai islands will be habitable before sinking back into the ocean? Comment below. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video.